welcome 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 to your imagery if you pick this beautiful cloud image as it i don't know i don't see an airplane window so i mean yeah so we're just gonna go off the clouds because i would say it's giving traveling but then if you know you know astro astro projecting or astro traveling whatever they call that that's the thing too because a lot i used to do that when i was little like i'll never forget ninth grade year you know you dream and you forget i'll never forget ninth grade year i walked into a classroom and i was like oh my god i didn't been in here before but i in fact have it because that was my ninth grade year i've never even seen the school before so yeah and that class actually was a very pivotal moment in my life period so yeah yeah let's get into more let's get into more let's get into the the emotional the aura part of your reading so we have energy some of you guys have have just y'all just have the energy to be high vibrational y'all have the energy to transform i saw shape shape shifter <clears throat> we have passion it's a lot of red here a lot of fiery energy you could be a leo sag an aries we have confidence here, definitely Leo Sag Aries. But then we have fear. And on the back of the deck, we have happiness. What is the reading for our pile? I'm talking about piles for the cloud in the image. Yo, I'm sorry, I'm stuffy. I'm trying to get over this cold, but I cannot stop moving. <clears throat> Three of Pentacles. It's like this collaboration with the higher, with the spiritual realm and the physical realm. It's this collaboration that's being made. Three of Wands. So we have threes here. We got three red cards, and then we have the Three of Pentacles with the Three of Wands, the Nine of Cups. So those are all divisible by three. And then we have the Six of Pentacles with the Tower. Some of you guys are going through this <sighs> renewal period. And I say renewal because some of you guys really like, how can I say this? You guys really isolated yourself from people because you didn't understand who you were and they didn't understand who you were neither, but it wasn't helping the situation. Some of you guys just decided to stay to yourself or to ostracize yourself and to be in your own energy, which was the best decision that you could have made. Um, some of you guys could have started a business that nobody believed in. Y'all could have did something that nobody believed you can do or nobody supported you in and you're thriving. Probably why we see in the clouds. Some of you guys could be so high in the clouds, you know, you can't even see the bottom. Um, we have the Nine of Cups. Y'all are emotionally satisfied here. Queen of Pentacles coming out with the Five of Cups. You guys left some people out in the cold, for real. Like, y'all left them out in the cold. When they said they didn't support you, you said, baby, then don't be around me. Don't ask me about it. Then if you don't support me, don't ask me about it. Don't ask me how it's going if you don't support me. And I think that that really caused um spirit to just bless you because a lot of people don't have the the balls to stand up to people. Why no balls? That's you. Yeah, you guys were scared too. Y'all were nervous, or y'all still are nervous, or y'all still have those moments where you're like. That it's like you guys may not be in a tower moment, but you always feel like at any point in time you could go into a tower moment. And that's probably why those clouds are there, too. Some of you guys feel like you guys probably could have cut off people last year. You guys probably said, yeah, I'm not bringing you into my new year. And because of that, you feel like, you know, it's some type of backlash that's going to come back from that. And it's not. With the Six of Pentacles, it's like, you guys are dependent on spirit. The Nine of Cups with the Six of Pentacles, y'all really don't need nobody with spirit. The Fool in Reverse with the Three of Pentacles is giving me a vibe that, um, that you guys don't care about jumping off into new situations. You guys are not worried about that. But it's just like, you're worried about maybe how you're perceived by others. Or maybe that was a worry of the past, how you've been perceived, how you were perceived by others. And I guess, you know, the current fear could be as well. You don't know if you have what it takes to push through. Like, you're like, I don't know. I'm, I'm questioning my stamina at this point. The sun, it was sitting at the bottom. I'm going to let it come out with the three of ones. Because I really feel like you guys really healed the way you pursued certain situations. Or the way you guys just handled situations when it came to money and when it came to your emotions. 
I feel like it's a lot to be, I think it's a lot to be said about how you're being viewed as well, but we're not going to even um get into that because it's like, to me, it doesn't matter how somebody views you unless you care about their opinion. Um, And what I'm feeling is like, it's a lot of people that are viewing you as energetic, passionate, confident, and and happy. But I feel like what you fear is like <clears throat> the fact that that may be gone. You're fearing that that, that could be um wiped away. And not just because out of spite, but just because, you know, you understand that things come and things go. So you're wondering if this feeling of happiness, security is going to go. Feeling above the clouds, you're wondering if it's going to go soon, if you're going to fall to the ground. I'm not getting that, though. I'm really getting that you're victorious because you trust your intuition like you've always had, always have. I feel like if you feel any type of fear, it's not yours. It's people fearing that you will co not come back, fearing that they've lost you forever. Um, it's the fear that you are going to be better than them, if anything. I feel like it's a, I feel like you're an empath and you're feeling other people. Feel like other people are watching you, monitoring spirits, if you know what that is. They're watching you, and <clears throat> it has you questioning. It's like, because they're watching you and they're thinking on you, it's like telepathically, you're getting that information. And some, and I'm not even gonna cap. Sometimes, you know, you get thoughts and stuff, and you're like, that's not in my tone, but why would I, why would it come up in my mind? Like, they could be thinking about you, or they could also be tarot readers, and they could be trying to do readings on you. Five of ones, yeah. These are people, it's a lot of people that you've beefed with in the past <clears throat> that is watching you, and they're watching you elevate into this cloud energy, this cloud-like energy, into this energy, like, it's like you're going to be a celebrity, untouchable. It's giving me, like, you're the, it's like you're going to move to L.A. You're going to move somewhere, and you're going to, like, pack up and go, and everybody's going to be here living their boring life, and they don't want to, <clears throat> it's giving me, they don't want to have to look into your life and see you doing way better than them because it's going to make them feel absolutely like shit, terrible. Like the, the crumb of poop in the toilet on the side that you have to actually clean. You might want well to clean the whole toilet to get. That's what they're, and that, that analogy was key right there. It's like you're, it's like they're the piece of, the, they're the piece of a shit in the toilet that they can they didn't go down with the rest of them they didn't reach freedom like the rest of them they're stuck in the toilet and it's like once you start you you don't just start in the toilet you don't just clean it inside the toilet once you clean the toilet you need to clean the whole thing period so it's giving me you reminding them that it's not about this or that it's about you it's about you as a whole it's about your ego your personality all of that together so it's like when this person tries to do the emotional work the spiritual work they can't do it they can't do it. They can't do it. They struggling. Why are they struggling? They're struggling because they, they realize that they have attracted people like them and those people make up their life. They're, they're in contact with family members that are like that. Those family members make up their life. They're around people that they never cut off. You cut these people off and you made them realize why they never reached the point that you reached. <laughs> you guys are a star. Ten of Swords here. They wanted you to never see what it was like on the other side. They wanted to pin you down. And you said, you took all those pins out and you said, no, I'm going. The Hermit, you're going. You're going on a journey alone. You don't care how treacherous it is. You don't know if, you don't know if you're going to make it back, essentially. But you're going to do it because you know that it's going to make you happy. It's a lot of leaving going on. You guys could be moving. It's a lot of leaving cards. We have the um, Five of Pentacles. That's a leaving card. Eight of Cups, the Tower, the Knight of Cups. It's a lot of movement. Eight of Wands. It's a lot of movement within your reading. Some of you guys are really climbing up the upper echelon is what I heard. A lot of you guys are climbing up. And these people are watching you climb. Some of these people know without a shadow of a doubt, once you get there, you're never coming back. Or like once you, yeah, king of wands, these people are looking at you, ace of wands, right when I said that, ten of pentacles. These people are looking at you like a walking lick. They're looking at you as somebody who um, they never thought you would get there, but they're happy, but they're also mad because they're not there. They don't get to experience. It's like they really are mad. Because they wanted to shame you for not being normal, and that caused them to have to, they wanted to put you in a box, but how it works is you have to fit and you have to use the box that you try to put other people in.
You see what I'm saying? So they are, it's like they are in this, they're in their mind because they were like, oh my gosh, I tried to force this person to be normal or I tried to project normalness or I tried to project my lifestyle on this person. This person rejected me, rejected my lifestyle and went all the way up to the top. And I'm looking up at them like, what the F? What the F? I should have been taking advice from them. And I hate to say it, you guys, but they should have been taking advice from you. They should have been asking you, hey, how do you stay authentic even when it's hard? Even when you're in a room or around a group of people who are exactly the same, how do you stay authentic? That's what they should have been asking. But instead, they sided with the group and said, hmm, this person needs to leave. And you said, you know what? I think I might. And you left. And these people were like, whatever happened to them? And they looked you up and they were like, oh, wow. I see somebody that's vlogging, going on. I see somebody that is living their best life. They're living a free life. They are going with the... They're going with the flow of life. They're not going against it. They're mad because they're like, I wish I could go there. I wish this. I wish that. They really hate you. They really hate you. I'm going to just say that. They really hate you. They really hate that you're succeeding. They really hate that you're happy. They really hate that other people love you, and they cannot get them to think otherwise about you. So like, share, and subscribe because that was really juicy. That was really tea. And I hope I see y'all later. Bye.